so we start off this vlog in like a typical London taxi. His mom was scared shitless. There were literally attacks last night. So what, what did your mom say? I don't want to say that. You know what? Okay. I don't want to say it on social media. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, the point, the instructions were to get in a taxi and stay safe, I guess. So uh, we're literally just on our way to school now. Also, I have a shoot straight after school, so I have my, some camera stuff in here. But I also have my Jun crane, and this is probably the worst day to be walking around with like a black box. This this doesn't look good. I want you to myself, but I know you just left someone else. I know you did. I know he did a number on you. That must be why you move so icy. So this is where you usually vlog? Not, not for the whole day, just for, just for well, like, like the morning bit? Yeah, yeah I guess. It doesn't, um... So, speaking of vlogging, we are here with James. Were you on vlog last time? No, it wasn't. No, I don't no. think. Okay, so that's James, James Taylor. He is a personal trainer, influencer, and um, we're working on a little project right now. Totally sweet. What do you think about that? Zipad. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty dope. Nice, isn't it? So that, <laughs> damn, <laughs> that is your view. Nice. Wow. It's weird, there's quite a few regrets that I do have. Um, be it following the crowd, following that every Friday night we're going out drinking, we're going out nightclubbing, um, and feeling like the need to do that, it, feeling that the same old conversations in the same old pub, in the same old group, was necessary to stay within that social group. Um, and now I've kind of pushed away from it and that it was everything for me back in the day. It was what I went through the week for. It was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, wicked Friday, let's go out. So, shoot is going quite well. This is honestly like such a beautiful location. Let me try to show you a bit better. Um, you got this really cool like light leak. I think it's right there. Look how dope that is. Yeah, that's insane. Um, but yeah, currently, currently just working away at it. I had to bring my Gion crane with me today, and look at look at this black box. I think I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this vlog that there's been attacks in London, so I had to come here on the tube with this black box and like the Gion crane writing, which is like Mandarin or something. So it looked dodgy as hell. But yeah, uh, James is James is really good with his voiceovers, like. We pretty much only had to take one take, um, which is dope. You usually have to spend like 45 minutes, an hour, just to get a good piece of content that um, you know we can work with. So now we're going downstairs to his apartment complex's gym. Going to shoot some content there, um, wrap it up in 15, 20 minutes, and then go around Canary Wharf and uh, get some more clips. Absolutely shredded. <laughs> Went well. I hope you enjoyed the edit. 
Um, we literally just finished up a little bit more b-roll clip. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that. Using the crane is so fun, especially because it's a golden hour here in Canary Wharf. Such a beautiful area. I'll be back here quite a bit more. Um, but uh, I'll announce that in a bit. Area is always so beautiful, especially for photos, especially at golden hour. So yeah, now we are heading back up to his. We're gonna do a little consultation and then we are uh, swaying on our Nando's right now. Yeah. Styling no. Dissing but got pictures with me smiling no. All the things you need, you still want problems though. All the things I know, I still been silent though. Yeah. Used to be at Silver City in the go. After some long hours of shooting, after some long hours of strategizing, figuring out what uh, James's brand is, you know, what's that one sentence that one idea that we can stick with. We have a much clearer vision going forward, what we want to do. So um, excited to announce it. James and I will be working quite closely over the next months, just on his personal brand, because he's doing, he's kind of in a job right now where, or, I mean, you might as well explain it. So uh, why do you want to build up your personal brand? Yeah, so I'm in the job right now where it's a tough slog. 5.45 starts, 11 p.m. finishes. And to be honest with you, I know freelance is where I'm going to be successful. So me and Iman are going to push for that. So as I said, it's it's super cool. I mean, the reason I keep promoting the fact that from, uh, from next month I'm spending one and a half K on my personal brand. Um, yes, that's a lot of money, but at the end of the day, like it pays dividends. The fact that you can have freedom, you can have personal freedom. I get to choose my hours. I get to travel for a living. I get to travel for my work. I get to, you know, like my, honestly, my hour, my, um, my work week is like 20 hours and uh, I can make that even less if I delegate um, more to like my team of uh, graphic designers, content creators, marketers. So look, at the end of the day, you have two options, either stay stingy um, and then basically just work for someone else or work in a job where you're just doing it to, you know, pay for Pay, for, pay your bills or whatnot. Make that little bit of investment like I do. And you know, it might not be clear now, but soon you start to see incredible returns. So you'll probably see this apartment a lot more. Um, the lighting in my house is so bad. So this is, this is an amazing spot, as well as the fact that at night, literally look at this view. James has the coolest apartment ever. Raw closing deals. Yeah, music video. Music video. Yeah, Rah. I, I, I saw him on the stabilizer. And stuff. Hey, dude, the, the the peak is coming in. Damn, son. Lean gains. <laughs> All right, let's hit this workout. All right, guys. So I literally only have like 45 minutes. Um, because I'm doing 15 minute uh, stairmaster, then sauna. It's a super busy week. Um, so yeah, 15 minute stairmaster. 30 minute steam room, cold plunge, steam room, cold plunge, then jacuzzi. So we're gonna try and hit a 45 minute workout. Lewis is running it. Lewis, what are we doing for the workout? Legs, bro, we're gonna start yeah. with some squats. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go slightly run, heavy, not Run the early. workout, run the workout. All right, so we're gonna do some squats, lunges, leg extensions, and a bit of heavy leg press. Boom, there we go. 45 minutes, let's get it done. the struggle of having I'm not sure if you can see but I have bow legs so basically they go out like that your legs are fucked up <laughs> thanks for the genetics mom but uh yeah they're completely screwed so doing squats lunges pretty much everything just the mechanics of it is just it's quite hard
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. We managed to get it done within 45 minutes, so that's super cool. I had a really good day today, signed on another client, and now I think I can finally announce that um, next Tuesday will be my last day at school, which is super cool. Um, I've gone to a point where I have a strong enough hold on the next branch that I can let go of the last one. So that's why I accepted the client today, because I've had a bunch of clients come to me asking me to do mar their marketing and their branding, but I just haven't had time in terms of school. Um, so now that I can let go of that, I can, I can travel more, I can take on more clients. But that brings me to one thought, and that is you get what you think you deserve, not what you deserve. Let me tell you what I mean by this. I was actually training one of my clients here at the gym around like nine months ago. And I was talking about how it'd be so cool if I could make just a couple hundred a month from personal training or online coaching. And he looks me dead in the eyes and says, Iman, you should be making thousands a month. I, I, I genuinely thought he was crazy. I, I'm like, that, I really appreciate that. That's, that's a cool comment, but what the fuck are you on about? How the hell am I meant to make that sort of money? And right now at this point, now that I'm leaving school, now that I'm taking on more clients, it's happening. And I say this just to give you context that you get what you think you deserve. I've really realized that unless you think you deserve to be making six figures a year, maybe even seven figures a year, it will never ever happen. It all starts with your mindset and then it permeates throughout your life. I like to draw from some Eastern philosophy and some Western philosophy and I truly believe that what you think manifests. That's not to say that you don't put in shit tons of work, but I think you need to believe that you deserve it before it ever happens, whether that be financially, whether that be with that girl you like, whether that be with that social circle or that social life that you may not think you deserve yet. Once you have that mentality and you enforce that through affirmations, incantations, just reprogramming your mind to realize that you deserve the best and then you put in the work accordingly. So even for the people watching this, just think about what you mentally believe you deserve at this point. From your side hustle, if you think you should be making a couple hundred a month, that's probably what you're gonna get. If you change that to a thousand a month, that's probably what you're gonna get. If you change that to 10,000 a month, that is probably what you're gonna get. I'm not saying we're gonna sit here, cross our legs and believe that we're gonna manifest everything, but what I'm saying is it all starts with your mindset. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, it means the world to me. Let's cue the outro in three, two, one. Guy had deflating, that is Thriving off your lessons Yes, you are my lantern Shine like house around my ears